from the live experience that I have, it's really difficult to be a female musician in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. You really have to have the right people around you. Mm -hmm. People who are going to protect you because for some reason the predators are just there yeah, waiting. And I, think, I, I don't think it's just in, I think it's entertainment as a whole. Because even in yeah. media, mm -hmm. there are a lot of predators. Yeah. yeah. So I think a lot of us women then become prey. And mm -hmm. before you know it, you're talented. You're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. you know, some good, um, charming yeah, <laughs> person, person out there. comes and says, "Hey, you know, I, I yeah. can I can sponsor you. I, mm -hmm. I can, uh, but you know, I'm I'm from South Africa. I probably never yeah. been in a plane, and you just have this good, mm -hmm. charming predator saying, I will sponsor you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Consider it done. Yeah. You know, I got you. <laughs> I think that's what a lot of my sisters are going through or mm -hmm. went through. Which I'm, uh, I'm blessed because that's the first thing coming first to told me. Mm. With everything that you've been through in your life, I think you're very clever. Mm -hmm. You have to be focused and know what you want. They're waiting for you. Yeah. I met a very beautiful sister who used to be very prominent. Yeah. I met her last week. Mm -hmm. And after m I performed and she was there, and I went and said, oh, you know what? You're my yeah. all-time inspiration. Yeah. And she said, really, the industry broke me. Mm -hmm. I, I was hurt. When you heard that, yeah. And I she started explaining her story. And I was just like, Lord, but till when? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It shouldn't break us. It, no. Mm -hmm. And I told her, go back in the studio, record Sissy, mm -hmm. give, us, give us something. Yeah, Instead, maybe. I don't know where to start. I've been hurt and I've been, promises have been broken. I've been mm -hmm. used. Mm -hmm. And I said, nah, go back. 19 as a backing vocalist, but you went yeah. out on your own 2020? 2020. I started, I met Leo 2017, huh. late 2017, uh -huh. and then I uh, started with him 2018, mm -hmm. and then uh, we went separate ways end of 2020. Did it, did it happen amicably, or it was a... Because I've heard <laughs> murmurs and stuff, but I ah, know there was a bit of uh, issues <laughs> in the background, so let's talk about that. Um, we, we are very good friends, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we things could have gone better, or they could have been done better. I think. Yeah. But uh, where we were at that time, and what was happening, we had become our own people. Um, discovered that we needed to go separate ways. We're now different artists because I had started my own solo journey, mm -hmm. and I now had my own different uh, taste of music and what I wanted, and I think him too. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it wasn't planned. It yeah. just happened. Yeah. Uh, I was hurt. <laughs> yeah. I was hurt because I didn't see it coming. But I think also it was the best that okay. time and of course what then followed to what happened to me. Mm -hmm. So after I left uh, the band, okay, so this is what happened. The day that things happened, mm -hmm. I cried. So mm -hmm. I was crying. And I uh, went straight to Comic Pastor's office. Girl, this is what we need the tea for. You know <laughs> I know, right? This is what we need the tea for. So you went to Comic Pastor. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And I remember he was standing um, at his office door, uh -huh. and he just opened his. his You're arms. joking? <laughs> and he's like, "No, come through. Just come here." And I and I and I cried, and he said, "You know what? This is the beginning. Yeah. Let's do it. What do you want?" And I said, "I want to sing." Comic Pastor and Associates. And yes? Associates, yeah. yeah. So he opened the studio. He had done that before. That's uh -huh. how I started doing singles. Because mm -hmm. Comic Pastor saw me um, and he said, you know what, you, you have a very good voice. Yeah. Which I still think people exaggerate up to now. No. <laughs> Trust me, if I could hear it on a song about cows. Yeah. Girl, I mean. You know? Yeah. yeah. So I, I started getting in the studio and then I recorded uh, Kurumi's. Um, yeah. It's called this one called Kukurumi. Then mm -hmm. after that, I went on to. The journey just started. Mm -hmm. I was in the studio every day. I would uh, leave the studio around 11 p.m. Wow. I would wake up at 5, wow. half 6 in the studio. Yeah. It was just fun. We started and mm -hmm. we didn't stop. Was it not because you, the hurt was still there and you wanted to just let it out somewhere? Of course, of course, of course. Uh -huh. um, the journey was beautiful. Being with the, the Mozi tribe for two years was. The yeah. most, oh my God, I've got so many, many memories. Mm -hmm. These guys taught me so much. Yeah. How to be on stage, how to be in the studio. I had never done that. 
Mm -hmm. I had left singing like 15, 10 yeah. years ago. Yeah. I've forgotten how I found it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, and, and I started with them. They I actually remember some guy telling me that in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwean audience is not ready to accept your talented. type of music, yeah female musicians. Yeah. This industry is male dominated. So yeah. You're wasting your time. Yeah. Because I know there was a, there's a, the big five. There was a big yeah. five and it all consisted of men. Exactly. And maybe Amara Brown here and sometimes maybe Tammy. Yeah. And you needed your space as well. Yeah. And, and he told me point blank that mm -hmm. you, you should find something else to do. Wow. Zimbabwe is not ready for you. They're not ready for any female mm. musician. How do you respond to that? I, well, I agreed. And I said, yeah. You well, agreed. This is someone who's been in the industry for Ooh. a very long time. And yeah. I was just hearing advice after they, I think we met, I think at a function or something. And then we just performed. I think I was mm -hmm. actually still with the band. And then I asked. Yeah. And then they told me, no, Zim is not ready for that. It's mm. After Chuanis, so there's, there's yeah. nobody else. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, you're right. And, and you agree. And it, it just... Yeah, because I think we, we've also been conditioned to believe that, you know, as women, we can't really do much, right? Exactly.